Welcome to the Brain Booster YouTube channel. Today, we're excited to take you on a journey to explore the beautiful country of Denmark. From its rich history and culture, to its economy and politics, we'll be covering it all. We'll also be discussing popular tourist destinations, food and drink, and much more. Our goal is to provide you with a comprehensive understanding of this wonderful country and its people. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. We encourage you to watch the video until the end and, if you find it informative and entertaining, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. This way, you'll never miss an episode and can continue to expand your knowledge and understanding of the world. Let's dive into the land of the Vikings. Denmark, also known as the land of the Vikings, is a country steeped in rich history and culture. From its ancient Viking origins to its modern-day customs and traditions, Denmark offers a unique blend of the past and the present. In this piece, we will take a closer look at the history of Denmark and its impact on the country's culture. We will delve into the stories of famous historical figures, explore traditional customs and famous landmarks, and discover the unique elements that make Danish culture so special. So, let's dive in and discover the rich history and culture of Denmark together. The origins of the Vikings can be traced back to the late 8th century in the Scandinavian region, which includes Denmark. The Vikings, also known as the Norsemen, were a seafaring people who traveled across Europe, Asia, and North America in search of trade, loot, and land. They were known for their seafaring skills, their fierce warrior culture, and their advanced shipbuilding technology. In Danish history, the Vikings played a significant role as they were the ancestors of the Danish people. They founded many towns and cities in Denmark, such as the capital city of Copenhagen. They also established many of the country's early political structures and played a major role in shaping its culture and society. The Vikings were skilled navigators and traders, and their seafaring and trading activities helped to establish Denmark as a powerful trading nation in Europe. The Vikings also had a major impact on the culture and society of Denmark. Their warrior culture and seafaring heritage continue to be celebrated in Danish folklore and literature, and their influence can still be seen in Danish art, architecture, and design. In summary, the Vikings played a major role in the history of Denmark, their seafaring and warrior culture shaped the society, politics, and economy of the country, and their heritage and influence can still be seen in Danish culture today. Another significant historical event in Danish history is the Kalmar Union, which was formed in 1397 by Queen Margaret I of Denmark. The Union brought together the kingdoms of Denmark, Norway, and Sweden under a single monarch and a single central government. This union lasted for over a century and played a significant role in the political, economic, and cultural development of the region. The union also helped to establish Denmark as a powerful kingdom in Northern Europe, and it had a major impact on the politics and culture of the region. Both of these events, the Viking Age and the Kalmar Union are important in Danish history, they shape the society, politics, and economy of the country, and their heritage and influence can still be seen in Danish culture today. They also had a great impact on the neighboring countries, shaping their history as well. Denmark has produced many notable historical figures throughout its history, two of the most famous being Harald Bluetooth and Hans Christian Andersen. Harald Bluetooth was a Viking king who ruled Denmark in the 10th century. He is famous for his military conquests and for his role in the Christianization of Denmark. He is also credited with creating a powerful and united kingdom that included parts of Norway, Sweden, and parts of Germany. He is also known for introducing the Gelling Stones, two large runestones that commemorate his parents and his own accomplishments. Harald Bluetooth is also famous for being the first Danish king to unite the Danish tribes under one rule, and for his role in the spread of Christianity in Denmark. He is remembered today as one of Denmark's greatest kings and a symbol of Danish unity. Another famous historical figure from Denmark is Hans Christian Andersen, a writer and poet who lived in the 19th century. He is best known for his fairy tales, such as The Little Mermaid, The Ugly Duckling, and The Emperor's New Clothes. 
These stories have been translated into many languages and are beloved by children and adults around the world. He is also known for his plays, novels, and travelogues. He was also a keen observer of society and a keen critic of the society of his time. He is remembered as one of Denmark's greatest writers and a cultural ambassador for Denmark around the world. Both Harold Bluetooth and Hans Christian Andersen played a significant role in Danish history and culture. They shaped the society, politics, and economy of the country, and their heritage and influence can still be seen in Danish culture today. They are also remembered as cultural icons and their works are celebrated around the world. Denmark is known for its unique customs and traditions that reflect its rich history and culture. Two of the most famous Danish customs and traditions are Huga and the Christmas tree. Huga is a Danish word that is difficult to translate, but it can be described as a feeling of warmth, comfort, and contentment. It is often associated with cozy gatherings with friends and family, warm blankets, candles, and good food and drink. Huga is considered to be an important aspect of Danish culture, and it is often used to describe the Danish way of life. Danes place a great emphasis on creating a warm and comfortable atmosphere in their homes, which is why huga is a significant part of Danish culture. Another traditional Danish custom is the Christmas tree. Christmas trees have been a part of Danish tradition since the 19th century. Danes decorate their Christmas trees with ornaments, candles, and lights, and they often place the tree in a central location in their home. The tradition of the Christmas tree is widely celebrated in Denmark, and it is a way for Danes to come together and celebrate the festive season with friends and family. Denmark is home to many famous landmarks that reflect the country's rich history and culture. Three of the most famous landmarks in Denmark are Legoland, Tivoli Gardens, and The Little Mermaid. Legoland is a popular amusement park located in Billund, Denmark. It is the original Legoland Park, and it was opened in 1968. The park features over 60 million Lego bricks and has many rides, attractions and shows that are based on the popular Lego toy. It is a family-friendly destination that appeals to both children and adults. It is also the second most visited park in Denmark. Tivoli Gardens is an amusement park and pleasure garden located in the heart of Copenhagen. It is the second oldest amusement park in the world, and it was opened in 1843. The park features gardens, rides, and attractions, as well as several theaters and concert halls. It is a popular destination for both locals and tourists, and it is a great place to experience Danish culture and traditions. The Little Mermaid is a bronze statue located in the harbor of Copenhagen. It was created by the Danish sculptor Edvard Eriksson and was unveiled in 1913. The statue is based on the fairy tale of the same name by Hans Christian Andersen, and it has become one of the most iconic landmarks in Denmark. The statue is a popular tourist destination and a symbol of Danish culture and heritage. Folk music and folk dance are an important part of Danish culture and heritage. They have been passed down through generations and are still widely celebrated today. Folk music in Denmark has a rich history, dating back to the Viking Age. The traditional instruments used in folk music include the fiddle, accordion, and the harmonica. Folk music is typically played in small groups and is characterized by its simple, melodic, and often melancholic themes. It is often played at folk festivals, folk dances, and other cultural events. Folk dance is also an important part of Danish culture. It is a traditional form of dance that is typically performed in a group and is characterized by its lively rhythms and simple steps. Folk dance is often performed at folk festivals, cultural events, and other gatherings. It is a way for people to come together and celebrate Danish culture and heritage. Both folk music and folk dance are an important part of Danish culture, they are a way to preserve the heritage, customs and traditions. They also bring people together, to celebrate, and to create a sense of community. They are also a way to promote and spread Danish culture around the world. Danish design is known for its simplicity, functionality, 
and elegance. It has had a significant influence on the world of design, and many Danish designers have become famous for their innovative and timeless designs. Two of the most famous Danish designers are Arne Jacobsen and Hans Wegner. Arne Jacobsen was a Danish architect and designer who is best known for his contributions to the functionalist style of architecture and design. He is considered one of the most important figures in Danish design and his most famous works include the Ant Chair, the Egg Chair, and the SAS Royal Hotel in Copenhagen. His designs are known for their clean lines, simplicity, and functionality, and they have had a major influence on the world of design. Hans Wegner was a Danish furniture designer who is best known for his contributions to the Scandinavian modern style of design. He is considered one of the most important figures in Danish design and his most famous works include the wishbone chair, the round chair, and the peacock chair. His designs are known for their simplicity, functionality, and elegance, and they have had a major influence on the world of design. Danish culture is rich and diverse, offering a unique blend of history, customs, and traditions. From the origins of the Vikings and their impact on Danish history, to traditional customs and traditions such as Huga, and famous landmarks like Legoland, Tivoli Gardens, and The Little Mermaid. The country's folk music and folk dance are also an important aspect of the culture, as well as Danish design, represented by the works of prominent designers such as Arne Jacobsen and Hans Wegner. All of these elements contribute to make Denmark an interesting and unique country, with a culture worth exploring. Whether you're interested in history, nature, or culture, there's something for everyone to discover in Denmark. Denmark is a small country with a highly developed economy. The economy of Denmark is based on a mixed market capitalist system and is characterized by a high standard of living and a strong welfare state. The country's economy is heavily dependent on international trade, and it has a strong manufacturing sector, which is supported by a highly skilled labor force and advanced technology. One of the key industries in Denmark's economy is manufacturing. The country is known for its advanced manufacturing sector, which is characterized by its high productivity and efficiency. The manufacturing sector is dominated by the production of machinery, pharmaceuticals, and food products. Denmark is also known for its renewable energy sector, which is based on wind power and biomass. The country is a world leader in wind turbine technology, and it has a strong renewable energy sector, which is based on wind power and biomass. Another important industry in Denmark's economy is the service sector. The service sector includes a wide range of industries, such as finance, tourism, and healthcare. The service sector is the largest sector in the Danish economy, accounting for more than 75% of GDP. The country has a highly educated and skilled workforce, which has helped to make Denmark one of the most innovative and competitive economies in the world. The Danish economy is also closely linked to the global economy through its participation in international organizations such as the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. The country has a strong tradition of foreign aid and development cooperation, which is aimed at promoting economic growth and stability in developing countries. In terms of agriculture, Denmark is known for its high-quality agricultural products, particularly dairy, pork, and beef. The country is also known for its fishing industry and exports of seafood. Agriculture is considered as an important sector of the Danish economy and it is supported by a well-developed infrastructure and advanced technology. In terms of political structure, Denmark is a parliamentary constitutional monarchy, meaning that the country is ruled by a monarch, currently Queen Margrethe II, who acts as the head of state, but the real power is held by the elected representatives in the parliament. The government is run by a prime minister, who is the head of government and is appointed by the monarch on the recommendation of the parliament. The prime minister, who is the leader of the majority party or coalition in the parliament, forms the government and appoints the cabinet ministers. The Danish parliament, also known as the Folketing, is a unicameral legislature with 179 members. Members of the Folketing are elected every four years by popular vote. 
The Folketing is responsible for making laws, approving government budgets, and controlling the government's activities. The Folketing also has the power to remove the Prime Minister and other government ministers from office by a vote of no confidence. The political system in Denmark is based on a multi-party system, with several major political parties competing for power. The two main parties in Denmark are the Social Democrats and the Liberal Party. The Social Democrats are the largest party in the Folketing, and they are known for their support of the welfare state and progressive policies. The Liberal Party is the second largest party, and they are known for their support of free market economic policies and liberal social policies. Other major political parties in Denmark include the Danish People's Party, the Social Liberal Party, and the Socialist People's Party. The Danish People's Party is known for its Eurosceptic and anti-immigration policies, while the Social Liberal Party and the Socialist People's Party are known for their progressive and social democratic policies. The political system in Denmark is considered one of the most stable and well-functioning in the world. The country is known for its high levels of civic participation and trust in government institutions. The government is responsible to the parliament and the political system is based on a separation of powers between the executive, legislative and judicial branches. The political system in Denmark is known for its high levels of civic participation and trust in government institutions, and it is based on a separation of powers between the executive, legislative and judicial branches. This system has contributed to the stability and prosperity of the country. Denmark is home to many beautiful cities that are popular tourist destinations. Three of the most popular cities in Denmark as tourist destinations are Copenhagen, Aarhus, and Odense. Copenhagen, the capital of Denmark, is a vibrant and historic city that offers something for everyone. The city is known for its beautiful architecture, museums, and shopping. The most famous attraction in Copenhagen is the Tivoli Gardens, an amusement park and pleasure garden located in the heart of the city. Other popular attractions in Copenhagen include the Little Mermaid statue, Amalienborg Palace, and the Rosenborg Castle. Aarhus is the second largest city in Denmark and is known for its beautiful beaches and historical sites. The city is also home to many museums and art galleries. The most famous attraction in Aarhus is the Aarhus Cathedral, which is an impressive Gothic-style cathedral that dates back to the 13th century. Other popular attractions in Aarhus include the Old Town, the Aarhus Art Museum, and the Mosgard Museum. Odense is the third-largest city in Denmark and is known for its beautiful parks and gardens. The city is also home to many museums and art galleries. The most famous attraction in Odense is the Hans Christian Andersen Museum, which is dedicated to the life and works of the famous Danish author. Other popular attractions in Odense include the Odense Zoo, the Funen Village, and the Odense Palace. Denmark is home to many beautiful beaches and national parks that are popular tourist destinations. Three of the most popular beaches and national parks in Denmark are Bornholm Island, Romo, and the Wadensee National Park. Bornholm Island is an island located in the Baltic Sea and it is known for its beautiful beaches and stunning natural landscapes. Tourists can enjoy swimming, sunbathing, and fishing on the island's many beaches. The island is also home to many hiking trails, which offer beautiful views of the island's rugged coastline. Bornholm Island is also famous for its historic round churches, which date back to the 12th century. Romo is a small island located in the Wadden Sea, and it is known for its beautiful beaches and dunes. Tourists can enjoy swimming, sunbathing, and windsurfing on the island's many beaches. The island is also home to many hiking trails, which offer beautiful views of the island's dunes and salt marshes. Romo is also famous for its traditional thatched roof houses, which are a characteristic of the island's architecture. The Wadensee National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its unique coastal landscapes and rich bird life. Tourists can enjoy birdwatching, hiking, and seal watching in the park. The park is home to many migratory bird species and it is a popular destination for birdwatching enthusiasts. The park also offers guided tours, 
which are a great way to learn more about the park's unique ecology and history. Denmark is home to many famous attractions that are popular among tourists. Two of the most famous attractions in Denmark are the Little Mermaid statue and Tivoli Gardens, as we said above, the Little Mermaid statue is a symbol of the city of Copenhagen and Danish culture and heritage, while Tivoli Gardens is an amusement park and pleasure garden that is popular among tourists and locals. Both of these attractions offer a glimpse into Danish culture and history and provide visitors with an opportunity to experience the beauty and charm of Denmark. These attractions are popular among tourists due to their historical significance and cultural value, making them must-see destinations for visitors to Denmark. Denmark is known for its delicious and unique cuisine. The traditional Danish dishes are a reflection of the country's rich cultural heritage and its abundance of fresh seafood, meat, and dairy products. Some of the most popular traditional Danish dishes include smørbrød, stegt flæsk, and frikadeller. Smørbrød, also known as open-faced sandwiches, is a traditional Danish dish that is typically made with a piece of rye bread, a variety of toppings, and a garnish. Common toppings for smørbrød include smoked salmon, pickled herring, and roast beef. Smørbrød is often served as a light lunch or as an appetizer and is a staple of Danish cuisine. Stegt flæsk is a traditional Danish dish that is made with sliced pork belly, which is then fried until crispy. It is typically served with boiled potatoes and parsley sauce. Frikadeller, which is a meatball made from ground pork or beef, is another popular Danish dish. It is typically served with boiled potatoes and gravy. When it comes to restaurants, Denmark boasts some of the best traditional Danish cuisine in the world. Noma, considered as one of the best restaurants in the world, serves a unique blend of traditional Nordic cuisine and contemporary cooking techniques. Almonds is another famous restaurant that specializes in traditional Danish cuisine, particularly smørbrød. Denmark is known for its famous beers and cheeses, which are an important part of the country's culture and cuisine. Some of the most famous beers in Denmark include Carlsberg and Tuborg. Carlsberg is one of the most famous beers in Denmark and is known for its crisp and refreshing taste. The brewery was founded in 1847 and is one of the oldest in the world. Carlsberg is exported to more than 150 countries and is considered one of Denmark's most recognizable brands. Tuborg is another famous beer in Denmark, which is known for its rich and full-bodied taste. The brewery was founded in 1873 and is one of the country's most popular beers. The beer is famous for its strong and distinct flavor, which makes it a popular choice among beer enthusiasts. When it comes to cheeses, Denmark is famous for its Havarti and Donbois. Havarti is a semi-soft cheese that is made from cow's milk and is known for its nutty and buttery flavor. Donbois is a semi-hard cheese that is made from cow's milk and is known for its mild and tangy taste. Popular places to try Danish beer and cheese include microbreweries and cheese shops. Microbreweries are a great place to try different types of Danish beers and to learn about the brewing process. Cheese shops offer a wide variety of Danish cheeses and provide customers with an opportunity to try different types of cheeses and to learn about their history and production. Traditional dishes such as smørbrød, stegt flæsk, and frikadeller are a must-try for visitors to Denmark, and popular restaurants like Noma and Almonds offer some of the best traditional Danish cuisine in the world. Danish beer, such as Carlsberg and Tuborg, are famous for their crisp and refreshing taste and are an important part of Danish culture. Danish cheese, like Havarti and Donbois, are known for their unique and delicious flavors and are a great way to experience the country's culinary heritage. Whether you're a food lover or just looking to try something new, Danish cuisine, beer, and cheeses are a great way to experience the culture and traditions of Denmark. In conclusion, Denmark is a beautiful country with a rich culture and history. From the origins of the Vikings and their impact on Danish history, to traditional customs and traditions such as Huga, and famous landmarks like Legoland, Tivoli Gardens, and The Little Mermaid. The country's economy is also robust with some of the most competitive industries, and its political system is considered one of the most stable in the world. 
tourists can enjoy popular destinations like cities like Copenhagen, Aarhus, and Odense, famous beaches and national parks like Bornholm Island, Romo, and the Wadensee National Park, and famous attractions such as the Little Mermaid statue and Tivoli Gardens. Denmark is also known for its delicious food and drink, particularly its traditional dishes, famous beers and cheeses. We hope you enjoyed listening to this podcast and that it has inspired you to visit Denmark. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos and information about Denmark and other fascinating destinations. Thank you for watching.